Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Um, so, how long does it take to fill a five gallon bucket of water? Um, or checking your flow, and also, how much does having hose connected to it reduce the flow of water? Well, let's show you here. We're gonna insert the water, get it all the way open. Now we're only running through about five feet of hose. We've been playing around over here, so it's a little bit muddy. All right, when we get to 30, I'll start filling it. All right, so here we go. Now, somebody was trying to say that when it, the water first comes out of that spigot, that it's at 24 gallons per minute, or at least in their area. And then by putting a 100-foot section of hose, it reduces that flow down to 6 gallons per minute. Um, to be really honest, it's not even close to true. There is going to be some reduction in your flow based off the amount of hose and the size and internal diameter and everything for it. Uh, but it's certainly not going to change it from 24 to 6 after 100 feet of hose. Um, Alright, so let's see what we got. Alright, so that was based. Alright, so that took exactly 45 seconds to fill the, the bucket. Um, so I'm going to dump this out, hook up the 100 feet of hose, and we'll continue the test. Alright, so here we go. Just trying to make sure that this is all the way. Alright, here we go. Now one thing with this test, we had to make sure that we already had um, all the air bubbles and stuff out of the line. You can see it is leaking a little bit. We had taken that apart a little bit with the uh, freezing temperatures and whatnot. So again, uh, at 2 minutes and 15 seconds of this video, we should see this completely full. Um, if it's really true that it's dropping it dramatically, you know, we shouldn't even have close to as much water as we have here. So let's just see where we finish up. Again, we started right at exactly a minute 30. And here we go. All right, so here's the math. Took for, to fill up five gallons, took 45 seconds. So how many would it take for 60 seconds? So we would just multiply six times five over 45. That gives us 6.66 .66 gallons per minute. Five over 52 times 60 equals 5.76. So we lost 0.9 gallons per minute. Um, I'll flip this around here real quick. What that really means, that 0.9, part of it was leaking out of the faucet. Um, so yes, it did. It slowed it down a little bit. We still had out of that 6.66 gallons per minute. And again, these are all rough numbers. Um, but we didn't lose a whole lot of flow out of that 100. We could put two, three, four hundred feet of hose. Yes, there is some reduction, and that Again, that 0.9 is, is pretty high. Um, I'll have to do it and take the, the full thing off of it and just connect directly to the spigot. Um, but you're going to have bigger reductions in your flow by having, you know, the, the splitter at the, at the spigot going on or having, you know, miscellaneous reductions and things in your plumbing itself than it is from having 100, 200, 300 feet of hose on there. You got to put whatever amount of foot, whatever amount of, hose on there that you need to connect to. Um, I always try and keep the supply line short and I'll keep the pressure line longer. Um, it's just going to be for function and everything. You want to have your your tank closer to that water source and then obviously you can run your pressure hose wherever you need to. So hope that helps guys.